I'm Gail Pratt, reside at 406 23rd Street South. Um, I've been a resident or a member of Brigantine, I should say, since the 1980s, over 25 years. I apologize, sir. Um, I don't know how to make it any louder. Um, but I, my husband and I have had property. We have built Crystal Beach back in 88. We've been a um, participant in Brigantine since, since the 80s for over 25 years. And I stand here tonight impassioned. It's very difficult to ask after seeing so many wonderful things uh, occur tonight. And at the same time, I stand here and say, we're at risk of having to leave because your budget is just too expensive. We can't afford to stay in Brigantine anymore. The average person out there, and as affluent and as wonderful and blessed as our lives have been, we haven't built a home in six years because of a lousy economy. And yet Brigantine told me this past year my house just increased $350,000 in a lousy economy. My taxes went up over $14,400 since last year, a 50% increase. And yet I know people, people in this room, who have homes that are twice the size of mine, twice the lot of mine, and they're paying $15,000 less per year. And I have a problem with that, and I think it's a legitimate problem. Do I mind paying taxes and seeing roads improves and infrastructure? Absolutely. Mayor Gunther, you know my husband and I personally spent $30,000 to approve the drainage on 23rd Street because Brigantine couldn't afford to do it. And we jumped in with both feet and said, we'll take care of the job, and we did. What used to be 14 and 15 inches of water is now completely dissipated within a half hour to an hour, depending upon how much rain comes at any given time. We've been very generous with Brigantine. We've had fundraisers for different causes here in Brigantine. We do the clean beaches. We do lots of things to participate. And I'm angry because I feel like I have to leave a home that I love. Am I not here all year long? No, I'm not. But that doesn't mean I'm any less of a resident or a citizen of this town. In fact, I contribute more because my children don't go to this school. And I'm happy to see a good educational system for the children of Brigantine. Your strong town means my tax value or my value of my property is stronger. That's good for everybody. And I just, I am I'm very, very concerned about the place we're going to. We can't continue to ask people, well, you know, it looks good, just ask for more, ask for more. At some point, tough decisions need to be made. The infrastructure issues that were discussed tonight, they need to be done, but then maybe something needs to be put off for a little period of time in order to balance that. And maybe there's room in the budget to do it without doing $12 million more of borrowing. It's not easy. I look at every one of you, and I know that you're sincerely here because you care about this town. And I know you're putting a lot of time and effort into it, and I respect that. I'm a retired school principal. I know what public service is. 70 hours a week, and you don't even count them. You just do it because it's the right thing to do. Um, I come from Medford Township. In 2002, you probably recall, there was great corruption in our city council. Um, a lot of corruption, as a matter of fact. And they had to make some tough decisions. Their police department went from 48 down to the current 29. We have 29 police officers in a 42-square-mile community, and everything is operating fine. So when you talk about personnel being over 60% of the budget, yeah, I know. I know the reality. I also remember being a substitute teacher before I could acquire a job. So part-timers sometimes have to work before they get full-time jobs and earn the right to be there. I also was laid off when decreased enrollment and had to go looking for another job over the years. But you just keep working at it, and you keep doing the best you can. What I don't want to do is to leave this community. And so I'm asking you to please make those priorities. Make them, make them. That's all I can say. Um, I'm probably close to the end of some of my comments. Well, one of the examples of our property is we happen to live on a restricted lot. One of the things that I liked about Brigantine so much was how welcoming we were when we, uh, welcomed we were when we came to meet before uh, the committee meeting uh, because the first 40 feet of our lot is restricted. We cannot build because of the dune restriction line. And we were given the variances that we requested. We designed a home that didn't impair other people's view. We tried to be very considerate of our neighbors, but we received our variances and we were very appreciative of that. 
problem I have is I'm being taxed on full value on those 40 feet that we're not allowed to build on. And so we will appeal our taxes and we'll go through what we have to do and hopefully, God forbid, we'll get back down, we'll hopefully get down to $30,000 in taxes from where we currently are. We weren't unhappy at $30,000 a year. Can you imagine that? But now we're $45,000. And where does it end? It's, it's way too much. It's disproportionate. Especially when you know the neighbor next to you, their value went down $200,000. Right, right there within eye view of our home. That doesn't make sense. So the appraisal process perhaps isn't greatly uh, just or fair. I, I can't say. But um, I ask you please take this sincerely to heart and, and make some difficult decisions because, well, we don't want to leave. If I have to sell my house, I can't sell it for the value that they're saying it is. I will have to greatly undervalue my house because nobody's going to want to pay 45000 then it'll be sold at a point that you'll only have fifteen or eighteen thousand coming in when we were happy to give you the thirty. So you're going to lose in the long run if you keep chasing people out of town. I mean, it's all about economics. It's all about reach. You know, we contribute. We we build here. We we cause a lot of people to have opportunities to make money. And thank you, Lynn. I appreciate your time.